Howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time for some Path of Exile. And in this video, I want to just get started going through the Azurite Mines, so the Delve Mines, for the first time in the new league. Uh, the first time you go in here, you will have picked up some of the uh, Voltaxic Sulfite poo, poo droppings in various maps or uh, through the storyline zones. You will then be able to just run, you'll be forced to run the first one without using Nico's additional uh, line that has been running for you while he's been while you've been leveling up. I'm massively, massively stronger than this area. Uh, you know, I've been I'm sort of early in maps although I'm only level 64 and this is a monster level 34 zone. So I'm gonna get basically nothing for this, but I am forced to run one. Once I've done this one, uh, then I can use the line that Nico has drawn for me. Uh, I'll also pick up Oh, diamond cash, nice. Really, really got to be careful with uh, going that far out, when, especially given I don't have an instant heal flask yet. The darkness does scale up in danger with your uh, with your hit points, and so it ends up being really dangerous if you're um, you know if you're out leveling the zone. The darkness can still kill you. Uh, this build is my is going to be a Glacial Hammer Berserker, but at the moment Glacial Hammer has been underperforming a bit. Uh, I, I'm going to give it more time to, to prove itself. So, but I am using Ground Slam a lot as well. In any case, now we're just going to return to speak to Nico. At this point, he'll give you a quest to purchase dynamite, which I've already found some of, and craft two flares. Oh no, I need to actually craft a dynamite. Okay, that's that's something I didn't realize. Now, at this point, we're going to go down as far as Nico has dug for us, and this is monster level 51, so this will be relatively easy combat encounters, uh, but I do have to pay attention to the darkness. Your darkness resist starts really, really low when you start delving, uh, and it can be quite nasty at first. Um, getting past that is uh, is you know, just one of those major. I mean, I guess it's the equivalent of beating, say, innocence in Act Five. It's just one of those accomplishments you need to make to make that's much harder than everything else around it. So that'll be your first delves, delving in the darkness where you've got very little light. You're also going to get basically nothing in the way of loot, and you have to bring things into the light at this point as well, because you've got so little light that uh... at this point I'm just going to go back to the uh, mine encampment, and I'm going to complete the quest to purchase a dynamite if I can. No, I can't even do that. Uh, I'm maybe if I waste one. Now at this point I can complete that quest. I think it's no, I can't even do it now because I don't have enough azurite. Oh well. See you later. So he's telling you there that you need to improve your... Uh, you need to collect Azurite. So your priority at the moment is to target the Azurite nodes. So I'm working towards a double Azurite node that's uh, two steps away from me here. And I'm just going to run through this. None of the loot's going to be worth anything. It's just basically equivalent to what you would find, uh, say, in an Axe 6 zone. I mean, you can get fossils here, but I'm not going to be able to go off the track to get them, and they're pretty damn rare at this step, too. There are some, you start getting discounts on the darkness resistance upgrades at some point. That has essences, but they're low tier essences, which is what I thought. I already have a 5 link. Um, I got quite lucky early on in the league. Uh, so I have I picked up a five link that dropped for me in Act Four. It's got terrible stats, but it's um, miles better than anything else I could realistically have at this point. It's at least at least comparable to having a tabula. The earliest I've ever had a five link drop for me. The one thing that's uh, important with delving. Uh, you'll notice once I get out of the monster level 51 type areas, once I start getting to say 55, 
there's a really significant amount of XP that you're going to want. Uh, and that's because you're killing a lot of blue monsters, and you just have monsters running at you like crazy all the time as well. A couple of important crafting, uh, crafting recipes that you get here. Nico doesn't quite dig as deep as I'd like him to. I'm currently forced, I would be using um, Herald of Purity, which the moment you can see, you may notice I'm using uh, Herald of Ice. I'd also be using Herald of Purity, but at the moment this pool is this reasons I'm having to run Purity of Elements. Uh, as always, Purity of Elements is a terrible skill, it's not something you ever want to use long term, but it does get you through in the short term when you resist the terrible. I believe there's actually level penalties on picking up those, um, picking up some of those Azurite nodes. So at the moment, I'd, I'd be getting more if I was considered at level. This is zone that's 52, and I'm several levels above that. I'm 12 levels above it. In any case, what we're doing at the moment, we'll farm enough Azurite doing this that we'll then be able to buy the all important. Uh, all, the all important upgrades for darkness resistance and light radius. You really do need all of them. It's not not like there's a um, there's a particular order you can get them in. And I forgot to mention, I said that I was using Herald of Ice. It's Herald of Ice that's turned off at the moment. Not sure the Herald of Purity. My next goals with this character are going to be to get some um, decent starter weapons. Um, I'm using just leveling trash. Uh, stuff that was pretty good when I got it in like Act 7, but that uh, doesn't hold up well now that I'm in maps. It is still the case that melee characters falling behind on your weapon does, does still really impact you. Ideally I'd like to get uh, Chimeria's Malls, two of those. Uh, Upgrade to Avarice, the faded version, when possible, and then after that, I can get something. Um, I can get some rare item that's considerably better. That's Vile Black Ground Slam, really overperforming. I mean, it's anything will do the job in here. These monsters are pretty pathetic, but um, Vile Ground Slam is performing really well in harder content too. Certainly these enemies can get hard. Even though they're only level 52, I think they must just have a bunch of synergistic auras. There's um, one that had... Oh, oh, there's one with the allies for Gen Life. But yeah, there was a, just a bunch of nasty combinations. Well, it's worth looking at those Traveller's nodes, uh, that wasn't any good, but you can sometimes get something good out of them. My loot filter, if anyone's wondering, is never sinks, uh, never sinks semi strict. What I'm going to do at this point is check my resist in here. As I thought, the, no, they're still, at, they're still at minus 60. Okay, so I wasn't sure, I thought there was a chance that the uh, that the penalty for being over level would not apply. In, oh, sorry, the, the penalty for Act 10 would not apply in here, but I was wrong. In fact, I'm pretty sure there was a period where, it didn't, where you, your early dogs you didn't have the uh, Katava penalty. One of the benefits to doing this early is that you get XP. You're going to have to do a lot of these low-tier delves just to get the Azurite. 
and doing them as early as I'm doing them, which is uh, in the low 60s, low, low, low to mid 60s levels, means that you will get a lot of XP for it. Not so much yet, I'm still just a little bit too shallow, uh, but after the next, after um, I get a couple more down, it'll be really noticeable. So, after this, I'm going to go and spend this Azerite. And I'm going to prioritize the cheapest upgrades, rather than having some ruthless prioritize one, one type over another approach. So, go to the mine encampment. And at the Voltaxic Generator, we're going to go upgrade Radius, upgrade Darkness Resistance, and we will also upgrade, we can afford to upgrade the Light Radius again. 112 is getting comfortable. Uh, but it'll fall fast because we're, we're digging straight down. Or, well, across here because we want the, uh, we want the Azurite. Yep, it was a mistake to spec the two uh, to equip it. I should probably be using something else, but there's nothing else that jumps out at me. I should have an instant heal flask, but I haven't got around to rolling one. You can't use what you don't own. And for that matter, you sort of get something not too dissimilar to the effect of an instant heal flask out of the very, very powerful uh, steel skin. I'm using that whenever I suspect I'm going to take quite a beating. Uh, it's not that clear on your character, just have a look at the uh, at my key binds, and you'll see that W for whiskey is often uh, unavailable. That means that I've used steel skin, that's the clearest indication that's been used. So now we're just going to keep pushing down here. We've got enough for a few more delves. Uh, I don't think I've got enough sulfite to get to a meaningful depth of this run. But that's fine. This trip in here will have picked up uh, both, well, both a little bit of XP, but also will have let me upgrade my maximum sulfite, which is going to be one of the next upgrades I'll get. I may even try to get two of them. The first couple of upgrades to max sulfite are extremely impactful. start seeing, now that I'm in 53s, my XP is starting to meaningfully jump up every time I, um, every time I hit a pack. So it's just sort of going up by an amount that you can see. It's, it's not rocking up. Uh, this isn't great for XP yet, but it will be by the time I get to 57. Assuming, of course, that I haven't dramatically outleveled that by then. I'm not even bothering with the um, fractured walls at the moment. I don't like doing them when I don't have much darkness resistance. Uh, even though this is soft core, it's just a pain in the ass to lose your um, to lose your delve. We got the six exiles. Stunning, stun pretty much anything. I'm keeping up 50 stacks of berserk of oh, barbarian rage at the moment. Uh, berserker rage uh, most of the time. I don't have the second tier of that, so I've only got the base rage. I don't have the uh, the one that actually causes you damage. I think that may be my eternal labyrinth side of things because I'll need to have a considerable amount of leech before I want that. Leech or regeneration or both. If I go Vile Pact, I can only have one or the other. Well, if I go Vile Pact, I can't have any regen, I've only got leech. That at the moment I'm not planning to go to Alpact. Ah, uh, it says something about not destroying Fractured Wall. Um, I think I'll, I'll go against that just because there's one so in my way. And it's just a hidden jewelry, which is the dud mode. 
we'll pick them up though. I'm still at a point where there may be something okay there. Unset ring is gonna be garbage. I don't have a use for it. I say I've not been in impressed with multi-strike as much as I thought I would be. It's, it's been good, but it hasn't been the absolutely absurd gem that I was expecting it would be from the stat reveal. And I'm yet to try Pulverize, but I believe Pulverize is really good. death explosions that you can tank with the um, steel skin. Alright, at this point I'm just going to grab this one, and then after that I'll return to base and spend all my spend all my Azurite and get a sense of how, uh, how we're going. Still haven't gained a level, which means this is considerably slower than what I'd get from nothing, or even from uh, even something less efficient like farming the Blood Aqueduct. Well, I prefer the Blood to Blood Aqueduct, but... Uh, that said, at this point of the league, you can certainly sell tabular asses pretty well. People may have noticed that the trade API is down, uh, or at least it was at the time that I started recording this video. Uh, people are mostly doing person to person trades, are mostly seeming to happen in trade 820 at the moment, uh, which isn't the usual identity of that channel, but it's it's what players have done and it's sort of working. better than any other solution that I can think of. You may also notice I'm using a stone golem, which is not an unusual choice. It's just because while leveling, uh, the stone golem really does help you um, keep keep alive. I'm not intending to stick with it at endgame. Alright, so jumping to here. You'll notice that it only costs 4 and it, sh it rockets up our sulfite capacity by 300. So we're definitely doing that. We're taking the next one. And we could also take it to, thir to 1350 if we wanted. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to there's an opportunity cost, it means I can't spend it on other things. Uh, so I'm going to instead get that Azurite going there. And now getting a quick look at how we've gone with this, we've now got enough of a Sulfite cap that I can take advantage of of my Nico Daily. Uh, my Nico Daily is on Barrow's map. I don't actually think I own a Barrow's map at the moment, so I'm just going to have to um, run other maps and eventually hope it drops. But um, I think it's something that I can definitely expect to be able to get at some point soon. Then once I've got the once I've found Nico once more, it could either be the, the Daily in Avaros or it could be anywhere else. Uh, at that point I will then start um, delving much more seriously. If you've never really done a lot of delving before and you're wondering why I prioritize it so much, it's because all loot is just insane. And so is the XP. The monster density is off the planet in girls, and so yeah, you just wind up with a huge, huge, huge amount of loot at the end of the run. The other thing you really notice is that your gems rocket up in level, and gem levels matter a lot more in Legion than they have in the past. Uh, that's because a lot of the melee changes have added considerable amounts of added flat damage to uh, to attack, so I'll demonstrate that as soon as I can clear this, this mess here. So to take as an example, as Ancestral Totem isn't a good example, uh, let's take our Glacial Hammer here. 
you'll see that it's got adds 45 to 68 cold damage against chilled enemies. Now that doesn't apply against all enemies, just against chilled ones. And all sorts of melee gems have things like that that end up being, um, you know, transforming the, the amount of damage that they do when you use them. Uh, oh, like, making it so that they, the damage rockets up as you level a gem. Whereas previously that hasn't mattered very much for melee gems. Anyways, I will burn the last of the off that, and then I will call it, call it an end for this video. I definitely ask any questions you've got about delves uh, below. I will try to get through questions. I'll be maybe a little bit slack while um, while the league is new. Oh, that's one of the unique ones there. Uh, that's. I don't have any fossils left, so I'm going to run back quickly. Uh, Lucent fossil is one of the uncommon ones. It's the has mana bonuses and does not have speed from memory. Not one of the ones that's in high demand, but it is a. It's a, It's one of the middle tier of fossil rarity. Uh, certainly nice to find. Don't really tend to use fossils much very early in the league myself. Uh, I'll tend to save them until I have at least access to item level 80 Elder and Shaper items. Then at that point, I feel you can do fossils justice. The exception, however, if you get an elemental, physical, or chaos fossil, and you have a set of low-level gloves, they can roll some incredible level in my team. Adds flat, flat, say for instance, a physical one will add flat physical damage to all attacks and spells, and it's a considerable amount at low level. It's not some small amount. And so we've just got one last uh, delve that we can do. Got the wrong way, and I'm out of flares, so I have to be very careful about that. Going the wrong way is a good way to get yourself in a lot of trouble. Darkness damage escalates over time. So it deals a certain percentage of your life per second, but that percentage increases linearly over time. So it might deal, uh, it might deal a third of a percent one second, then two thirds of a percent the next, three thirds, so a whole percent the next second, one and a third percent the next second, one and two thirds, and so on and so on. Uh, it scales up quickly, and it will uh, it will mess you up badly if you're not uh, if you're not quickly back in line. There are various ways of mitigating it for an extended period of time, but all of those will get a limit. You can't stay out in the darkness forever. Now that I'm in uh, Monster Level 54, I am starting to get meaningful XP, uh, just because there are so damn many monsters that I'm killing that it's adding up. And that is someone's Threshold Jewel, I'm not sure which one it is. I don't think it's one of mine, but Threshold Jewels are a good thing to sell early in the league because people want them. And the demand is well, 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 well short of the supply. So, uh, we could take this, and in fact I'm going to do that. So now I have 2,000 available sulfur, and I will then fill out my flares, pick up a dynamite, and start working on some of the other minor but meaningful upgrades. Anyways, that's all I've got on the um, first incursion into the Delve Mines. Uh, there'll be plenty more of them. If you've got any questions, hit them up below. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in-game.